everybody. So welcome to this year's first GRCC International Guitar Series concert, 2017. We made it. Fantastic. Um, we have a, two amazing performers tonight, Brian Morris and Dr. Libor Andres. And they will be playing classical guitar and violin and viola. Uh, we want to thank Park Street Church for allowing us to be here tonight. This is an amazing venue, and I imagine the acoustics are wonderful as well. Um, at this point, please silence your cell phones, pagers, walkmans, whatever you have. <laughs> also, on the way out, if you want to hear more amazing concerts like this, please sign the GRCC International Guitar Series sign up sheet and we'll email you when you have a concert or when we have a concert um, and possibly send you a brochure in the mail. Um, upcoming concerts, we have the Avanti Guitar Trio on Thursday, March 16, 2017 at 7.30 in the same very place. So without further ado, what? actually, it's in the sanctuary. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. But in the same building, in a sense. Yeah. So without further ado, Brian Morris and Dr. Lee Andres. Woo! 
this was an arrangement of the famous Schubert's Ave Maria that was actually done by Brian Morris. So it was to Brian for that. Uh, the next piece we're going to perform um, is also composed by Franz Schubert. Um, this is a piece that he composed about three, four years before his death, and timely may I add. Uh, this was composed in 1824 for an instrument that is called arpeggione, which was uh, invented a year before uh, he composed this piece and um, uh, sort of fell out of favor after a while, uh, long before uh, this piece was actually published uh, uh, in the second half of uh, 19th century. Schubert, being a composer who connects uh, classical and romantic period, um, puts a lot of lyricism in this piece. Uh, he's known for beautiful melodies, very pro prolific composer of leader, chamber music, but also symphonies and choral works too. Uh, in this particular piece, uh, <clears throat> he's using the classical sonata form, something that he uh, preferred uh, for a lot of his composition uh, for string instruments. And, uh, the first movement features two very beautiful melodies, the opening A minor, gorgeous, very lush, slowly moving, and then kind of a almost gullible, uh, bubbly second uh, theme, and uh, it just uh, follows the traditional sonata form. So we've got this exposition that he develops the material and brings it back in recapitulation. And a beautiful second movement features a uh, very haunting, kind of rising and falling melody again and uh, ends with a cadenza, which uh, I don't know if it was supposed to be improvised or not, but uh, a lovely cadenza that leads directly into the third movement, which is just exuberant, fun, uh, somewhat challenging because the instrument itself that this was composed was a six-string instrument. And so now that arrangements that have been made are uh, for either viola, cello, I think even for double bass. But it's somewhat, it, it poses some technical challenges because it's not originally conceived for you. And uh, for the as for the instrument, I was going to ask Brian if you can explain uh, what <coughs> arpeggio might have looked Well, like. what I discovered was the arpeggio uh, was built by a guitar builder in Vienna in 1823, Johann Stauffer, who is a very well-known guitar builder. And he had this idea he was going to build a bold guitar. And so he took, he basically took the, it's the same tuning as the guitar, it's maybe a little bit bigger, more like a, not quite as big as a cello, it has frets on it, but you actually play it with a bow. Of course the problem is, when you have six strings, you can't get as much of an arc, so if you put any pressure on the bow, it's hard to just, mm -hmm. just play one string. So it turned out that it wasn't actually that popular, but there were, I guess there were a group of players around that time, and so he invented it in 1823, and then Schubert wrote this piece, in 1824, but by 1833, it was that was the end of it. So, this piece was published in 1871, and there were no arpeggio players left to play it. So now Libor has to play it on the <laughs> <laughs>
for being here tonight. It's really uh, wonderful to play for you. And uh, I, I know I speak for both of us when uh, we really appreciate you being here. And you've been a fantastic audience. Thank you.